if you think about the data sets that we worked with 20 years ago, 10 years ago, um, if we're looking at you know, the amount of data that was created, um, the data rates these days for doubling in the world, uh, data is doubling every 15 weeks at this point or, or thereabouts. Back then, in, in the last two years, we've doubled the amount of data in the world, whereas it took you know, 2,000 years to get us to that point. Um, the amount of data that's being generated today is, is increasing extremely fast. And the amount of horsepower that it takes to process that data is increasing, is having to increase to be able to deal with that. So if we look at 10 years ago, if we had a server that was you know, 250 gigabytes worth of data, that was a big server. Today, a server that's got 250 terabytes is considered a big server. So a thousand-fold increase over 10 years is a, a, a pretty remarkable growth, uh, growth rate. So when we look at uh, where things are going today, that is continuing. Uh, the cost of storage continues to decrease. The performance in systems, Moore's Law, uh, Gordon Moore from Intel, uh, data uh, processors will be twice as fast and uh, half as expensive every 18 months. And that has proved itself out since the 60s, and they're continuing to push that forward. So they're able to increase the performance of the systems while the capacity of the systems continue to increase. As these data sets continue to grow, we're looking at um, new software to be able to uh, accommodate the data sets and the, the number crunching that has to go along with these data sets to be able to pull information out. Um, things like file systems, Lustre and uh, ZFS. We're looking at unique file systems that are really architected specifically to very, very large data sets. We then also have um, different software that's being used to extract data, like Hadoop, and setting up clusters to be able to pull data out of these very large data sets. And this is happening everywhere, whether it be commercial environments, government institutions, um, looking at educational research type of environments, uh, no matter what, we're, we're seeing this increase in, gr in growth in the data and, and the horsepower that's needed to be able to manage it.